They smoke from like right near the Roche pit. I mean, how often does this gank happen, right? Like that's not a very common gank path. <laughs> it works out beautifully. Alliance get caught totally out of position and well, with that, BKB is now complete on RTZ. Your Queen of Pain BKB coming very soon and you know, I gotta say, I think the big, biggest disappointment for Lion so far this game really has to be the Lena pick. It, yeah. It's a 1 in 6 Lena. Uh, Pycat, in a matchup that I think is maybe slightly Lena favored, the big thing is once she gets level 6, it's just been those little things. Like, he couldn't get in range for the Laguna Blade earlier. He's gotten ganked a couple of times. It seems like he's just kind of, unfortunately, at the wrong place at the wrong time, gets caught out. And now that he has his Yules, normally the, the killing item for Lena where she really starts to snowball, they're, all the cores are starting to have their counters to it. Two out of three, and S4, the third man to get it, as Ogre Club picked up. 1,900 gold in the bank, so we're going to see triple BKB, at which point, you know, Lena really needs the eggs, but she's just, she's nowhere near it. Indeed not a very, very long way away, and I'm starting to feel that this game, a lot is going to rest on Loader for the side of Alliance. He's going to have to do some big, big cleaning up in these team fights. But uh, it's going to be hard to do so with the amount of farm that Secrets Heroes have got. And there's a relocate, actually. Reload. Yeah, just to push the <laughs> down this tier two. He has got the Phantasm if he wishes to pop it. We saw him do it on the top lane. But they're just going to go for this tier two. Uh -huh. Secret, they're knocking on the doors on the top lane, though. Hitting away at the tier three. TP back from Batrider. There's uh, the return relocate. Loader and Ake are here. Fortification comes out. TP in from Ogre. Can Niqua find an, initi an initiation with the Lasso? There's going to be a Fisher coming out. RTZ is getting bolted up. Magica with the follow-up stun. He gets a three times multicast. Very nice indeed. Blinking from Brew, but he gets Yulsed up. Niqua and Lena low. Lena will go down, and so does the Bat. Buyback straight away from Bycat. Wants to get himself back into this fight. And Secret, are they going to go for more? Are they content with just the buyback? It looks like they want more. They're hanging around. They're ready to go back in. Puppy, of course, has got the Echo Slam up back off cooldown. Level 11 as well. It's going to do a lot of damage if it catches them all in the near vicinity. But the Alliance are just too scared. No yeah. There's no lasso. What do they jump in with? Bothering to buy back. Why, why not go for it? You still have Aegis. You still have your Bruce. But I mean, really, Secret used hardly anything there. Alliance are the ones who committed and didn't get much out of it. Now the siege continues. Our tour mechanical down soon, and the front lines here is S4. Will get caught. Can he get off that split? He really needs to. No. The Golden God Loda brings him down. Now the chase onto Arteezy. He's gonna get pulled back in. Aegis quickly dealt with. They do have. An Echo Slam soon, Fisher not for three seconds, they make it RTZ, no BKB. And let's see if they chase. Niqua in the front lines, he tanks the Echo, he's driving them all back, your Requiem used. But everyone nicely spreads on the side of Alliance, damage is reduced for now. But it's gonna end soon, perhaps they lose RTZ twice, they will! It's three down, they're not even done yet, Kuroki with the stolen sticky napalm, trying to slow the chase, they don't, they do have a relocate actually. Maybe one try to use that to hunt down a fleeing hero. Uh, they may even go here on Karoki momentarily if he sticks around mid too much longer. Well, they certainly noticed the Rubik in the mid lane and a relocate could could work out. They know it's potentially going to be an easy kill. There's no Brew, there's no Earthshake, and there's no Artur on the old Shadow Fiend. But uh, that was the fight they needed, and the fight that I was talking about. Loader getting himself in there, helping to find the pickoffs. And Alliance, they're holding on. They're holding on indeed. An XP lead that was 10k down to 8k. And gold-wise, it's starting to turn around as well. So even though Alliance are fairly behind at this 24-minute point, they're certainly not out of it yet. I think the load of BKB caught them a little bit off guard there. That seemed like that was the big item that four secret back. Loda's just in the front lines and... They have a lot of ways to deal with the illusions, but at this stage of the game, they don't really have many solutions for the actual, the main hero. The BKBs are great defensively. Uh, they don't have a ton of burst damage here to deal with. They have the Queen of Pain pure damage ultimate. The right click is lacking. Arteezy has gone for a very uh, just defensive utility style build here, picking up the mech BKB. Later on in the game, they should have some solutions for just the main CK. Also, obviously, the BKB will lose some of its duration, but for now, oh, that's the easy. Cases, they will smoke up. Yes, this is the time for Alliance to try and smoke, and they are going to find the Blink and the Lasso. Can they hold Arteezy in place for long enough? Yes, the crit's coming through. And, well, that was a, a Shadow Fiend blowing up very, very quickly to the damage there of the Chaos Knight. Yeah, that was... He's squishy, man. That's so, oh, surprisingly so. If he gets off the BKB, not so much of a concern. Then he's able to pop his mech. He's going to have some extra armor to work with and, and H, the HP regen, but... For now, not the case. I think for Secret at this point, this is where Alliance get a lot stronger, and 
ultimately Seeker probably want to look more towards finding some pickoffs and farming towards late game. Puppy getting his blink will be very big for them. Arteezy getting that butterfly and really nice choice, I think, against the Chaos Knight. Uh, and then, you know, maybe a, a Manta, just something to kind of confuse them. But for now, they are smoked. This has to be one of Secret's last smokes for a while. They've got one more in the stash, and then that's going to be it for some time, as they will find Mad here. That's a dead ogre. That's a nice little pick off there. And Alliance with the ogre down for 50 seconds now. And can Secret look for any more? Are they ready to just go again and try and chase Alliance at the higher ground? Oh, Nikwa hiding in the trees, and yeah, load of TPs himself straight out there. Pycat, he's ready to go as well, and so is the eye. They're just, they're just going to get themselves out. Oh, well, Pycat's going to stick around for a little bit. Continues to find a little bit more farm in this top lane. And so on Secret, they look to separate up themselves and continue to clear out the jungle camps and just find as much as they can out of the map at this point. So, so Pycat is actually going, not for the eggs, which we often see, especially when Alina's playing from ahead, but he's going to go BKB. And... I like this a lot. He's died almost every fight. It feels like very early in those fights as well. And although he won't be as much of a threat to the secret BKBs, they have the Chaos Knight to be their big damage dealer. And if Pycat can just get off an extra stun or two, that could be the difference maker. The main thing ideally for him is he gets this BKB. And even though he's getting it, normally you look at BKB as a fighting item. I kind of feel like Pycat is hoping he won't have to fight for a while and that he can just farm up for the eggs after this and then get involved. We'll, we'll see if he has that luxury, but for now, Loda looking to set up on S4 bottom lane. He does reality rift. The stun comes out. Three seconds. I don't think they can really go for this. Maybe trying to force out a Bruce Blade, but guess who's here? It's Papa Zai. Brains Ake low. Soul burn. Gonna tick him down. Gets the kill and well, they'll let Loda live. Mercy was had, at least for him. A nice uh, involvement there from the Queen of Pain. But at the same time, as you were saying, I don't think there was any chance they were actually going to kill S4. He did have that Primal Split available in Alliance. Just with the Chaos Knight and the Iron, just not a lot of lockdown. And in all reality, they need Ogre to come in with a nice multicast, or they do need to find the Lasso um, if they really want to hold S4 in place long enough to stop him from being able to get off that cast animation. And 28 minutes in, 27 kills for Secret up against the 17. And well, the graphs, it's been a little bit up and down. Uh, Alliance did manage to close the gap pretty nicely, but we are seeing it to begin to tail off again back in advantage of the side of Secret. Yeah, there is a two-tower advantage here for Secret, so that's something to keep in mind, but it, it is one of the issues with the Alliance draft is they don't farm except Oh, Magica. Oh, oh, we're no. going to find... Yeah. Oh, there's, oh. Down here. there's backup coming, Batrider. Yeah, Batrider actually blinking into the core pole there. And well, Zai, I think he might try and clear this one up. He's a little bit low on mana, but there's the scream. Chases the bat around the tree line. And Magica, he's lucky, away, lucky to get away with his life. But yeah, unfortunate timing for the bat there. Blinks in just as the ult was aimed at the ogre and uh, takes the full brunt of the attack. And without the Batrider... And without the Lasso, this is a chance for Secret to push and get a tier two. Yeah, that really turns out terribly for them. <laughs> you don't send your Batrider in to protect the Ogre. Although, I, this Ogre does have an egg, so he's maybe forming into more of a core role. Uh, or at least uh, a do it, be more of a damage dealer than the Batrider, but definitely not ideal, especially using the Lasso. Secret, going to take the tower. It's now a three tower advantage for them. This may help setting up for the next Roshan. And it seems for now Alliance is going to be very restricted. I think the next step for Secret is getting a gem. Don't have one yet. Nothing on the Courier, nothing on the Heroes right now. But at this point, if they can just bottle Alliance up in their base, they don't have a hero like Naga or Tinker, you know, someone who can rat and split push, even a Phantom Lancer. And if they're if they're not getting out on the map, which their their lineup doesn't really excel at when they're playing from behind, they, they will fall even farther behind in terms of net worth. It's... It's a pretty big deficit, as you were pointing out with the graphs. And if Secret choke them out, play this, asphyxiate them, and play kind of Starvation Dota, they may be able to keep Alliance even buried in the grave for in the gutter for a long time when it comes to gold. Mm, this could be a big fight here. Secret, they smoked up into their own jungle. Alliance as well as smoke. Necro on the front lines. Ah, uh, smoke gets revealed. RTG pops the BKB straight away. Telekinesis from Kuroki. Perfectly catching out the Batrider in that. That is a very, very quick pickoff. And again, Bat tries to start the initiation and lead himself in, but just gets taken down too quickly by the side of Secret. That was brutal. And what do you know? Roche. Well, very, very unfortunate death there for Alliance. With that kill, they're able to just secure an Aegis for Secret as well. And, well, the last time they see Tigreon, it ends up working out okay for Alliance, but 
you know, this time around OD, they've got a BKB on everyone as far as the cores go. They really should be able to get off their Bruce split. They have to blink on the Earthshaker as well, something they did not have last time. And this may be the Aegis that allows Secret to crack this Alliance base wide open. I think if you're Alliance now, you really need to start ratting, split pushing as much as possible, and just stall, baby. Stall. But they're coming right down mid. Stalling will not be permitted, apparently. Yeah, they're going to have to do something spectacular from the high ground here. And I mean, Loader, he has been avoiding the fights recently and just focusing on farming up. He is still 2,000 behind this offlane crop, though. He's found the Reaver on top of the BKB, and he's uh, just spent out a little bit more money. What was that to pick up? Was the recipe for the heart? Yeah, recipe for the heart. And he has got enough for that VIP booster, but that will, will put him in a position where he's not going to have buyback available for this next fight, and he... Might very well need it to Alliance. They're all backed up in the base. They are ready to try and take this fight. But are they as ready as Secret? S4 leading the high ground, and there's the initiation. Silence goes free. Laguna Blade onto S4, though. He can't get the Primal Split off, and he is down. Loader has put the BKB, but Secret, they say, well, you can take the Brew, but you're not going to take anything else from us. And they just back up out of it. Going high ground against a bat, very difficult. You know, they even have these wards high ground, and they started painting the second that Smoke got used, I... I think they may have seen it, but unfortunately, just not able to back off in time. S4, maybe underestimating the burst damage Alliance or have, but with the Lina, especially if you don't get off your BKB, she does not have her eggs yet, so BKB is a solution, but if you don't pop it, then you're still very killable. And now Alliance gonna march down mid with that ultimate for Loda. There's her completed heart. They'll take down the tier one. I don't think they go tier two here. Brew will be respawning in 20, and you have to worry about a potential buyback, but still a big hold. And with that, we'll. We'll get a nice objective here. Alliance desperately need this gold, and the kill was 1,500 gold swing. Or was a 1,500 gold swing, I should say. And uh, Now with the tower, make it a little over 2,500, I'm guessing. Yeah, the swing is certainly going to be there. And down the mid lane now. I don't know if it's been noted, but Kuroki, he did decide to opt for that rod of Aoi to try and catch out some of these, some of these squishy heroes. And heroes like the Batrider as well, who are going to be blinking in. And of course, they've got the four staff, but haven't got that BKB not quite yet. And easy leading the charge. Queen of Pain ready to back him up. Queen of Pain working on that Shiva's guard. Has the recipe on top of the Orchid and the Axe and the Plate Mail. And here comes the damage onto the tier threes. Ogre <laughs> trying to hold them back. The stolen Phantasm. All these little Rubik's hitting the tower. It's pretty cloudy. <laughs> oh, wow. And he got lucky as well. adorable. He got the bonus fourth one, so, well... And the RNG certainly there, what and the wow, oh, oh, top left, look at that, the initiation bursting the bat down straight away. There's going to be a buyback, RTZ has got BKB, but he's of course got the Aegis as well. BKB was propped by Zai, but the buyback from Nico comes in with the Lasso, trying to hold the Queen of Pain in place, but the Light Strike race is a little bit too late. And now here comes S4 on the Brood, popping the Primal Split, Magica, he does get a stun out onto the Fire Spirit, but it's just space being created for Secret, because they're clearing out the middle racks, and there's not a lot that Lions could do. Loader going in now onto RTZ, the crit's there. But Aegis is available, and RTZ is going to be back for round two. Loader trying to pick off this. <laughs> no, but Kuroki, he stole the lasso. He holds the big old man on his big old horse in place. Ake with the tether, keeping the Chaos Knight alive. Loader, he's not happy with the side of secret. RTZ gets blown up. Puppy coming in with an Echo Slam. It's not quite enough to find Loader, who is still alive. And there's two heroes down on the side of secret. Maybe even more, because Kuroki getting chased down by Magica. Nikwa, Nikwa getting low. Magica as well. He's trying to bring down the Rubik and he will find it. Majka, is he going to get away with this S4? I don't think he can go back in. No, there's a relocate. Alliance, they want more and they're going to find it. It's going to be a full team wipe going the way of Alliance and Secret. They do get the oh Rage Drax, but it's just the Rage Drax LD 35 minutes in and they lose five heroes. Okay, so that was a 6,000 gold change, which is bad. <laughs> really bad. Wow. That's but the a... XP swing 9, is the really scary part. Literally Jesus. over 9,000. And it's <laughs> bloody hell. You took the meme right out of my mouth, man. Oh my god. That is that is a massive swing. Look at the graph. Straight down. Now it's it's actually Alliance leading. Oh god. Mastered. What? Jesus. That was an One incredible fight. swing. Why in the fight? Now, it was a team wipe, to be fair. But, yes. And an Aegis down. Great hold there by Alliance. You know, that fight almost went really poorly. Loda did not have mana for Phantasm. And then Ake came in. He tethered him. He used the mech. And Ake was low, so uh, ends up giving Loda the bottle charges as well. He barely gets off the Phantasm. It just came off cooldown at the right time. If that's like five to ten seconds later, 
I think they maybe lose the melee rex as well. Instead, they only end up losing the ranged tier mid lane and top lane earlier was Siege, but oh, Secret never got an objective out of that aside from the tier three. So, you know, this is Alliance with a Wisp and a Bat Rider, and they've only lost the ranged rex. This team knows how to rat if they need to. They know how to base race. It's not at that point yet, but it just feels like one of those games where it may end up just being a big relocate Rex taking that ends up turning it. Oh, Kuroki, there's your rift into the bolt. There's going to be a sign that's thrown down onto Chaos Knight, but he's got the right clicks, and that's all you need to bring down the Rubik. Mega kill streak now for Loaded. Does he want to go for more? Can he go for more? Nice secret. They are getting back. They are starting to realize that this loader on the Chaos Knight is very, very scary indeed with that heart. And uh, well, now with the ultimate orb, and what's he going to be building with that LT? Do you think we are going to see him go for that full-on illusions build and maybe even pick up a Manta style at this point? I, I think so. It, Scotty, I suppose, is an okay item just for the raw stats, but here comes your lasso on the Zai. You blink and you'll miss it. He's already dead. Oh, these picks they're fighting with the Batrider are just turning the game for Alliance. And, you know, it's one thing to give Alliance their first pick Wisp OD, but uh, they, I think we're seeing here why most teams just do not want to play against Bat. And they, I mean, by all accounts, Secret were dominating this game early, but all of a sudden, there's no split push. The massive army of knights comes marching down mid. They have their Bruce, but they don't even want to use it just yet. And to me, MVP of this game of Secret win has got to be Puppy. He needs a big Echo Slam to turn this fight. He certainly does, and he's preparing himself on the left, looking for that blink in. Throws a Fisher down. BKB popped by Loader. He wants to find these racks, though, and he certainly will with those Phantasm Illusions doing so much damage. Blinking from S4 gets Jewel up straight away by Pycat. Can they catch out Loader? There's your Rod of Outer. ATOS bringing him down. BKB popped by S4 into the Primal Splits just so we can get it off. RTZ coming in, but no one's actually being blown up on the side of Alliance. Magica taking a bit of damage now in the sidelines, in the trees. He gets off a stun onto Kuro, but he does go down. And uh, Lions, they it's only lose the Ogre. Well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's the comeback. So they lose two supports, but they get the Queen of Pain kill. They get a melee Rax. Great trade for Alliance. They're, they're happy with that one. And, you know, the other thing is that Secret used the Bruce split as well as the Requiem. So with that and the Queen of Pain being dead, they're really not in position to push. Uh, I don't know, man. This is just feeling like one of those games. Oh. where it may turn out to be the the rat and you know alliance having the late game edge for now they're taking head on fights but they have that plan b if it ever gets to a point where secret can outfight them they can relocate and with phantasm ck becomes an excellent pusher especially the manta style as well so uh, if that ends up being the build this is a very unusual item pickup arteezy is going to go not in this traditional right click <laughs> items for your shadow fiend but into a refresher orb I, I actually think it's the item. Okay. Uh, it, it sounds crazy, right? But yeah. The old, the big issue for them right now is the CK illusions. And there's this is a ranged hero, so you can't get a Battle Fury to deal with them. You don't have a Magnus on your team. If they can kill off the CK illusion, Secret can probably take the fight, especially with Brewmaster getting an Assault Kuras to go with the Vlads. S4, that's going to come soon. Seems like the, the key here for RTZ is just getting off your double Requiem as well as the double BKB in the team fights. I, I don't know. We'll see. But theoretically... It's a better pickup here to deal with, at least with the Chaos Knight, uh, than anything else he could buy. So I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this item. Oh, we'll have to see what he's able to pull off with it. And, and indeed, it's one of those items that if he gets the double Requiem off, that would be a, a very, very hard team fight for Alliance to win. But at the same time, if he gets cancelled, if it gets whiffed, if he gets himself blown up before he's able to get both of the casts down, it's essentially going to be a hell of a lot of money invested in an item that's not going to offer you anything too much else at this point of the game, 40 yeah. minutes in. And he is up against the Batrider, as well as Alina with an egg. So it is entirely possible that he uses BKB, channels the Requiem, he gets lassoed, or he just gets crit to death by the Chaos Knight. Like, it's not a guarantee this is a good item, but in theory it is the best one item he can get to deal with illusions, and it seems like that's what that's what Secret are really worried about here, is just getting run over by... I mean, now, now the army gets really massive. You've got... The three guaranteed phantasms, the one bonus one, so that's already five CKs. And then you've got your Mantle Style Illusions, another two. You pop the armlet here, they're closing in on 4,000 HP. Uh, I mean, granted, they take a little bit of bonus damage, but still, they're, this is this is going to be a disgusting... It's it's frankly an army. He's a one-man army at this point if he gets off his phantasm as well as his Mantle Style. 
I mean, and that's the thing as well. If you look at what Alliance have got, if Secret lose a team fight, Alliance is pushing power with the Lena, with the Chaos Knight, with the Io tethering up, with the Bloodlust coming from Ogre. Secret, they'll lose a lot of structures very, very quickly if they don't bring down heroes like the Chaos Knight in the fight. So, uh, you know, Secret, they've got to come out on top, which, looking at the last couple of fights, they just really haven't. Alliance have been dealing very nicely with the lineup and the load of Chaos Knight is definitely getting scarier and scarier at this point. And well, with 2k gold, uh, we're getting to the point at level 21. Maybe we'll see him sell his Midas and, and kind of finish off into his penultimate item before picking up those boots to travel. I mean, as this cast, what do you think he goes for as his next big pickup? Mm, so we're saying for, sorry, which hero? Uh, for the Chaos Knight. Uh, huh. That's a good question. He's got, like, this is basically your core's Chaos Knight. Uh, I, the best item for illusions probably at this point is Scotty for the stats. Uh, Butterfly isn't a terrible choice here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's really anything else. The the one thing that uh, the one item I think is very underrated on Chaos Knight actually is Refresher late game okay. to give you a new BKB to work with as well as to give you a another Phantasm. I, I believe when you refresh and use it, I think you lose your other illusions. I'm not sure about that, but even if you do, it's still a great item because Chaos Knight without Phantasm and without BKB is. He's still strong. He's got Bloodlust, he's got Tether, Overcharge. Obviously, it's still a scary hero, but with the Refresher and the second ultimate, that's where he gets incredibly terrifying. So I think most likely we see like a Scotty or a Butterfly as the next pickup. And then the, the final item for Loda probably is that Refresher. Uh, at some point, if, if there ever gets to a point where Secret has a really scary right-clicker, maybe he trades out his armlet, goes for something like an abyssal blade and and just uses the armlet as a, a a seventh item that he puts on his hero before he pops phantasm but uh we'll see for for now i think most likely safe for buyback number one get scotty slash butterfly number two and then if you have the if you have the gold for buyback as well just pick up your refresher seventh item but i, I mean this, this is something that this is the dream scenario for a chaos knight you're up against the queen of pain shadow feed you lost the lanes pretty hard after a really good start and you're still out farming them He's out farming, well, not out CSing, but he's he's more he has more net worth than these other heroes, which is quite crazy to think about. Just look at how bad of a farmer CK is in general. Yeah, Lodi's done a great job of catching back up and really getting himself at the forefront of the game. There might be a fight about to kick off here. Alliance looking for a wrap round. Niqua, can he find initiation? He will onto Zai. Brings the Queen of Pain is the fight. Laguna Blade going to blow down the Quop straight away. There's a Fisher coming in, but it's not going to be enough to stop the aggression of Alliance because Loda just wrecking face with these illusions. Look at them. Bite down onto Arteezy. Arteezy, even with the BKB, can't do a lot here. Loda brings Puppy back. Arteezy's going to be able to find the Blink and TP straight out. Niqua can't find the flame break it's still on cooldown only one person actually died so far on the side of team secret alliance they're still alive pika pops the bkb wants to find something here it's s4 on the high ground Niqua chasing down puppy and will find the earth shaker but still are they gonna look for any more alliance they want to find s4 he's got the blink available and he will blink out Indeed, and I don't think Alliance can chase this Pycat trying to boost his movement speed. Four staffed in by the Batrider. S4 with the Dukes, though. I think he's going to be able to get out of this one. Oh, no, no, there's the Blink. Niqua and the Yules, they are going to find him. He hasn't got Primal Split, of course. It was already used in the previous fight. Laguna Blade blowing him down. And LD Alliance, they're finding these fights and they're not losing anything. Oh, man. And it's, it's, it's starting to really get worrisome here for Secret now. They... They don't have buyback on any of these heroes. They don't have a Bruce split. They use their Refresher Shadow Fiend, so he's got no ultimates, one BKB, and he's uh, basically a useless hero outside of the ultimates. The, the downside of this build is um, he has no right click, and without the without the, the ultimate, he can't do anything. So they're gonna walk in. They may take the entire base. This I don't know if it's GG, but it's getting to a point where Secret, where is the comeback gonna come from? They they just can't kill Loda, even with the double requiem. He got them both off there and. Loda's Illusion still survived through that. Now they'll find their lasso pick in the shadow of the fountain. They're trying to close out Secret here. Quapult will remove your Wisp for now, but Zai up against it. Laguna comes through. They just need a crit or two. Gem on the floor, but nobody's concerned with that. Now they won our tour. They're going to chase him over. They'll get the kill. There's a buyback, but what does it matter? He's buying back with half his souls. Only a single Requiem now. It's just come off cooldown. Getting mad is not even good enough. Uh, and, well, do they get him? For now, he's tanking up. He gets a multicast with Puppy. He's out of mana for a second. They will get the kill. Two lanes of Rex down. They just bought back on their precious Shadow Fiend. And 
It really feels like one more good push from Alliance. That could just end Secret. I, I gotta say, this game is really showing the power of the Chaos Knight, and, you know, the Batrider initiations have been great, but, man, CK brings the pain. This hero is doing insane damage every fight, and, in theory, Secret have a draft that's pretty good at dealing with them. I wouldn't say it's exceptional, like, probably exceptional would be, like, a Phantom Assassin with Empower or Battle Fury to, to evade the illusion damage and to cleave them, but they have really good AoE, and it, you just go back to that one fight at their base. OD, where it looked like Secret could have calmly closed out the game. They end up giving up a team wipe. Don't even get the melee racks. And ever since then, it's it's been Alliance all the way. It really has. That one team fight really kind of set the precedent for the rest of the game that we're seeing. Alliance coming out on top every time. Loader coming fairly, fairly boldly out and waltzing straight into the Roche pit. Secret on the high ground. Loader, is he going to get caught out here? This would be a nice position. If Secret can get the jump onto Loader, maybe they can dispatch him quickly, but I don't know. He's just 4,000 health... 4,000 HP, 20 armor, He's <laughs> and the backup of an IO. It's not something that you really want to jump into first, because you're just not going to be able to kill him. The rest of the team are going to come in by the time you've only got him down to half health. And well, Loda wants to find a kill. Nice fishing from Puppy. And the blinking and the echo stuff. Is it enough, though? Zai tries to get the damage onto Pycat, but the tether from Ake keeping him alive. No one's dead yet on the side of Alliance. Alliance getting fairly low. Artesia coming in with a nice Requiem of Souls, but he gets brought back by Loda and slapped down with the crits. Alliance, they do lose the Ogre and the Io. And maybe even Loda. Can they find Loda? There's going to be a Batrider jumping into the quad, and the ping's coming out. He wants the Chaos Knight to help him, but Chaos Knight, he's got his own issues and he is going to fall fairly quickly to the punches of s4 puppy and kuro and they're going to find the bat as well and secret oh, but the creeps are marching in the creeps are pushing mid and bottom they've got no racks in either lane secret if they go for this roche even if they get it the, these creeps are going to do a lot of damage it seems like they're going to try to have the best of both worlds they leave three in the pit Hiroki perhaps ready to back off he holds the gem for now an alliance what a force they issue. Loda comes in. He doesn't have Phantasm, though. Keep that in mind. BKB is available. He's got the Manta as well. The Drunken Haze used. Rush dropping low. And here we go. Nikwa into the pit for now. Doesn't have a last wave. He's just trying to stall here. A secret are very slow at this motion, though. Hardly any right click to work with Loda. There's your Manta. Pulls in Puppy. Doesn't finish the job, though. The Rush hits the deck. The Brewmaster of S4 grabs it. They also get the Rush last hit. Now Pycat dead. And it's just Loda left alive. Okay, rotating in, though. He, for now, Loda pushed up onto the high ground here. This is an awful position. Can he get back down and make something happen? Uh, yeah, there's your reality ref. Jumps back down, has no wisp though. And can they even kill Loda? He's missing like every attack it feels between the evasion, the drunken haze, S4, able to get the job done, wins the man fight. The creeps were doing some damage here. They lost a tier four. That's a dieback though in your Chaos Knight and another death for the wisp. A lot of buybacks used in general. It looks like one, two, three, four buybacks in total used in that fight. Puppy. Gonna use his to try and turtle. Big swings there for Secret, but the one thing is they don't get objectives. This may be the point, OD, where Alliance starts thinking about the rat. We we may see them, you know, relocate top, deploy the, the Phantasm, Manta Illusions, and, and go for racks. But for now, Secret looking for objectives. 80 seconds on the sideline for the Chaos Knight. Yeah, this is the biggest window that Secret have had for the last uh, 20 minutes of the game for Secret to get some objectives done, and they're certainly going to find it. Top lane, they do clear out the rats. Can they find Are anything they more? What? They looks they like they want to. to. It's, it's a bit of a bold attempt. Only S4 and Zai are here. Machka could come in and try and blow up the brew, and brew is just going to intentionally pop the Aegis, so that's going to be an opportunity for Machka to come in with the oh. multicast. Oh, my goodness. Goodbye, Zai. There's your buyback from the Queen of Pain. Wants to get straight back into the Has fight. The BOTs. Yes, gets herself they, into the dive base. They have this. No Chaos Knight for 40 seconds. This is going to take some really good kiting and crowd control here from Alliance. I, I, they need some RNG here from the from the Ogre, it seems. The tower's dropping low. Secret trying to just end this game. Close Alliance out. In comes Nikwa to start. He gets off the lasso on Arteezy, but now a stolen lasso from Kuro as Zai leaps forward onto Pycat, forcing him back. There's Requiem. Number one, they don't have a second. It's still cooling down, and it seems Secret may have stolen this game from Alliance. It looked like it was all theirs. Long live Alliance no longer. They'll pound the throne. Your stolen lasso from Kurogi just wow. taunting them. What a turn of events. What a turn of a turn of a turn of events. Alliance, it looked like they'd come back into it.
the chaos now is proving to be a real issue and secret. At the end of the day, they realized that. They were very fortunate that Loda bought back into that Roshan fight and then they were able to take it take it uh, positively. Now, I've got to say hats off to Zai's play. Even in that Roche fight, uh, he was able to steal the cheese as well, which meant he was able to sustain through that fight and really commit to bringing down Loader on the Chaos Knight for the second time. And well, we saw exactly there. When Chaos Knight was down for a good two minutes, that was more than enough time for Secret to...